Hi, my name is Dr. Sasha Hai. I'm an internal medicine specialist and obesity physician. And over the past month, we've been talking about obesity as a chronic medical condition. We reviewed the evidence-based treatment options and dispelled some myths around this disease. Today, I'd like to talk to you about weight management expectations. Many people come into my clinic with very lofty expectations. They want to fit into clothing that they've held on to from 20 years ago, or they want to reach a certain target weight or size. I also see people frequently who have a history of what we call yo-yo dieting or weight cycling. They've lost 20, 30, or 80 pounds through crash diets or commercial programs, and then regained 30, 50, or 100 pounds six months later. People are spending thousands of dollars on quick fixes that are enticing and hold promises of dramatic weight loss. But then they regain all of that weight and then some. And you know what happens? They blame themselves and think, ugh, oh, I failed again. When in reality, it's not the individual that failed, it's that they didn't have the right treatment. Remember The Biggest Loser, that TV show that showed contestants losing hundreds of pounds through intense dieting and exercise? Well, there was a study that looked at the contestants from season eight of The Biggest Loser and followed them six years out from the show. All but one of the contestants had regained their weight and some had gained more than they started with. But what was even more concerning is that six years later, their metabolic rate had decreased so much that the contestants had to eat 600 calories per day less than when they started just to keep their weight stable. So imagine this, you lose 100 pounds, then you regain 100 pounds, and now you need to eat 600 calories less per day just to avoid gaining more weight. It doesn't seem fair, does it? A few weeks ago, we talked about how your brain defends against weight loss. It's very sensitive to changes in body fat mass. So when you lose weight, your metabolic rate slows down and hormones responsible for appetites and cravings increase. Your body's really working against your efforts to lose weight, and that's why weight regain is very normal. It's also why we say obesity is a chronic condition. It's chronic because people will have to manage their weight their whole life. And while short-term quick fix solutions sound appealing, they're usually temporary and therefore linked to high rates of weight regain. Successful weight management is not about how much weight you can lose and how quickly. It's about how much weight you can keep off while still living a life that you enjoy. We call this your best weight. Here's the good news. Even if you only lose five or 10% of your body weight, that can have significant improvements on your overall health. It can reduce the risk of diabetes, heart attack, stroke, arthritis, and even death. It can improve your fertility. You may be able to reduce some of your medications. And finally, your quality of life is likely to improve. So it's important to recognize that the scale is only a small part of obesity management. We need to celebrate other measures of success, like consistency in health behaviors, how you're feeling, both mentally and physically. Are you sleeping better? Do you have more energy? Are you able to do activities that you previously were unable to do? These are all great indicators that your overall health is improving. Thanks for watching over the past five weeks. I hope we've been able to shift your perspective to understand that obesity is a real medical condition. And if you've struggled with your weight, and you've been dieting and exercising and wondering why you haven't seen the results you want, please know that there are many other factors at play. But with comprehensive medical support, you can work toward your best weight and your best health. So don't be afraid to talk to your doctor about evidence-based weight management or find an obesity specialist who can support you in your journey. Weight management does not need to be done alone. I'm Dr. Sasha Hai. Thanks so much for watching.